Well, as John Leone's down on the field with a guy who's been around for 25 years as Lafayette swimming and diving coach. He is uh, John Daly. Here is, here's John. Thanks very much, Gary. Uh, you're absolutely right. Actually, he's 26 years for Jim Daly, uh, 25 as the head coach, and uh, I know a little bit something about this guy because we shared uh, uh, some space here on campus. Jim, congratulations on 25 years, 26 overall at Lafayette. Take us back to the beginning. You and I share some friendships, uh, Bill Lawson, Mike Racine. Um, talk to us about uh, how you got started and reflect back on 25 years. I don't know if I can do that and remember a lot. Uh, but I do remember when you were coaching, John, when I got here. So. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? It was a good thing. You know, the kids definitely enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, I got really lucky. Uh, I actually was trying to get in over to Lehigh for grad school. Sorry to say that, but uh, my wife was a trainer there, and I got a phone call from Mike Racine saying, hey, what do you think about coming here? So I actually had an interview over fly fishing, got a chance to meet Bill, um, and being on the same staff with those three guys for a long time was pretty special. Absolutely. I mean, I, I knew both of those guys very, very well, and, and, and you've carried the mantle so uh, so well, Jim. Um, uh, in terms of uh, participation and even diversity, uh, you look at this. I saw some of your student athletes down here. I don't know how many there were, but just in terms of the recruitment process and where you draw kids from and how important it is, uh, talk to us a little bit about what this swim program means more broadly for the college. Sure. Uh, I'd love to talk about that. Um, our kids are from all over the place. You know, we're very fortunate that the Lafayette name goes all the way out to the West Coast and beyond. I've got four kids international, Barbados, uh, Kelly, Columbia, Tokyo, Ontario, and then we're from Anchorage, Alaska, all the way to Maine. So it's, it's uh, pretty cool. Uh, obviously, uh, a good friend of ours, Mike Weinstein, uh, just made a very generous donation a couple of years ago that totally revamped uh, the uh, pool area. Uh, it used to be Roof Natatorium. Uh, we changed the name, obviously. Talk a little bit about Mickey uh, as he was to stay here. And uh, did he actually jump in? The dedicated? I was just going to say, and you haven't seen it, go to the website. Uh, Mike kind of said, uh, and Bill Lawson was his head coach, and he kind of said, Mike, you talk too much, just get in the pool. And Mike went in fully dressed. Uh, but yeah, that was $5 million worth of uh, renovation work we did. Our pool was originally built in 1972, so we were in 2016 still working on all the original equipment in 72. Uh, so we really needed it, and it's really helped out the recruiting quite a bit. Yeah, you mentioned that to me. Uh, in, in terms of bringing kids in, when you can show them the bright new area, I'm sure it does have an impact. Oh, absolutely. I mean, over the last three years, I bet our applicant pool has increased probably 10 or 15 percent just in swimming. I'm sure it has for the rest of the school, too. And it's made those kids from Anchorage and California and Texas actually want to come here. Fantastic. Um, 25 years, Jim. Tell us a little bit about how the program has evolved. Obviously, the new physical area is terrific. Um, as the school gets better, the kids get better academically. Uh, how are your teams doing? Uh, my teams are doing very well. One of our swimmers won the Pepper Prize recipient last year and is up for the NCAA Woman of the Year right now. Uh, it really goes back to Bill Lawson like we started with. You know, Bill's tradition was pretty good swimming, but it really came down to the academic part of the school, and ultimately, uh, you matter as a person. Mike was here. When I was Mike's assistant, it was the same thing, but we got a little faster. We're a whole lot faster now, uh, but our teams are usually academic All-American, up for Pepper Prize, Road Scholar. The kids do really well. It is terrific. I see them all the time in and out of the building as I live across the street. Uh, one last thing, uh, Michael, I know your close friend, Mike Racine, you wanted to give a special shout out to. Yeah, uh, Mike Racine, uh, head coach here for nine years and a really special friend, took uh, two steps with his right leg. He had a stroke about a month and a half ago. And I just want to tell him, Mike, we love you. Keep working that right leg. I want to see you back on the stream. I'm telling you, Gary, Michael, the camaraderie here, the fraternity, the brotherhood, uh, and the community is uh, something very, very special, and I think no one exemplifies that more than head coach Jim Daly. Jim, thanks for spending some time with us. John, I appreciate it. Gary, Michael, back to you guys. Thank you very much, John. Congratulations to Jim on uh, a great tenure here at Lafayette.